If you've ever seen anything about sorting slicer buttons before, you'll know that the normal methods that people recommend have huge issues. But in this video, I've got something that you might not have seen before, and it could be exactly what you're looking for. So buckle up, it's gonna be an awesome ride. And if you're ready, let's get started. Here is our scenario. We have a table with our data. And from this, we have created a pivot table. Simple enough. Now we can add a slicer to control our table. To do that, I'll select a cell in the table and I'll click insert slicer. And I want this for the region column. If we click the buttons in that slicer, it now filters our table. You'll notice that the buttons in that slicer are in alphabetical order. Now let's add a slicer to our pivot table. I'll select a cell in the pivot table and click insert slicer. And again, I want this for the region column. When we click the buttons in that slicer, it now filters our pivot table. And again, you'll notice that those slicer buttons are in alphabetical order. But what if we want them in the order of north, south, east, west, and central? Well, that's not in alphabetical order. So how can we sort the slicer buttons in the order that we want? Let's go find out. The most common recommendation for sorting slicer buttons is to use custom lists, but this doesn't really work. If we go to Excel's options and then click advanced, we can scroll down to the bottom and find the edit custom lists button. In there, we can enter the list that we want to use to sort our slicer. Then we can click add button. We then click OK twice to exit the options. In our slicer, we can then right click and go to slicer settings to make sure that the use custom lists option is checked. Then we can refresh our pivot table. Now both our slicers are sorted according to our custom list. However, this custom list only exists on your PC, which means if you share the file with someone else, they don't have the custom list and your slicers don't sort. So that's not what we want. The next common method that's often recommended is to use the data model. To do that, we need to start by deleting all of our pivot tables. Yep, you heard me. We have to delete everything that we've done to date and start all over again. Not just that, but the data model doesn't help us to sort table slices. And also it doesn't work on a Mac. So maybe we should forget the data model. Now, don't get me wrong, I love the data model. There's so much power there. And also our slicers will travel with the workbook. But do we really need to use a separate application just to sort slicers? Wouldn't it be better if there were another way where our sort travel with the workbook and we didn't have to redo a whole load of work? Well, let's go and see what that might look like. Here in our workbook is the list in the order that we want to sort by. It's in a table called order. In our table, we're going to add a column called region sorted. First, we want to find the position of each region from our order table. For this, we're going to use the X match function. So X match, the lookup value will be the value in the region column. And we want to look that up from the order table. This returns numbers from one to four for north, south, east and west, or it returns the hash NA error if the value doesn't exist in our table. Now at the start of our formula, we want to calculate the number of rows in our order table. For that, we're going to use the rows function. And then we can minus the result of the X match. When we calculate, this will give us numbers from zero to three. So I'm going to plus two to get the numbers from two to five. Next, we want to deal with the hash NA errors. So let's wrap this in an if error. And if there is an error, we want to use one. This means that we get numbers from one to five. This also ensures that any items which are not in our list will be sorted alphabetically at the end of our slicer. Next, we're going to use the zero width space character. It's Unicode 8203. So it's a character that exists, but contains zero width. So it's not just a clever name. That means we can't see it visually, but Excel can. So at the start of our formula, we're going to use the rept function. This repeats text. The text that we want to repeat is the zero width space character. 
To get that, we're going to use Unichar, and then the code we want is 8203. Then the number of repeats we want is based on the value that we have already calculated with our rows and X match function. When we calculate that, it looks like the column is empty, but it actually contains the relevant number of zero width spaces. So now we can add the name of the region at the end of this formula and we're done. Next, we want to add a slicer to our table and we want to use the region sorted column. And there we go, our new slicer now displays the values sorted in the order that we want. Now let's add a slicer to our pivot table. To start with, we need to refresh our pivot table to get the new column into the pivot cache. Then we can go to insert, slicer, and again we want the region sorted column. Fantastic, our slicer is now sorted in our required order. We're on a mission to help people save huge amounts of time with Excel and you can help us with that mission. All you have to do is click subscribe and get notifications. This tells YouTube that this is a quality video. That means we get to reach more people and we get to help more and more people save more and more time. So please go ahead, click subscribe and get notifications. Some of you will be thinking, but I create pivot tables directly from the data in Power Query. That means this won't work for me. So let's go and apply the same method, but inside Power Query. Here I've loaded both tables into Power Query. I'm going to start by selecting the order query. Then from the add column ribbon, I will select the index column dropdown and click from one. This now adds the order number that we want to use for our slicers. Now let's head back to our data query and click home merge queries. We want to merge based on the region column and we want to merge that with the order query and the order column. Then we can click OK. Next, we want to expand the order column and only include the index column. We have some null values because the central region was not included in our table. We're going to transform this by clicking transform and then replace values. We want to replace null and then we can enter any number. I'm just going to enter the number 10 and then I'll click OK. Then I'm going to edit the formula to calculate the maximum number from our index column plus one. So rather than 10, I'm going to enter list.max, open bracket from the order table, and then in square brackets we have index because it's the index column. We can then close that bracket. That will give us the maximum number in our index column, and then we want to plus one. Right, we're now ready to add our zero width space character. So I'll click add column and then custom column. The name for this column is going to be region PQ sorted. And for the formula, we're going to use text.repeat. This repeats characters. For the zero width space character, we're going to use character.from number. And the number that we want to use is 8203. So that will give us that zero width space character. We then need to say how many characters we want to repeat. We're going to use the list.max function again. We want the maximum number from our order table and our index column. Then we want to minus the index column for that specific row to make sure that we have numbers that start at one and then keep going for however many regions we have, we're going to plus two. And then at the end, we want to concatenate the value from our region column. This now gives us the same result as the Excel formula that we created previously. Then I'll click OK and let's change that value to a text data type. And we're done. We can go to home and then the close and load drop down and select close and load two. We want to load both of these queries as connection only, and then we can click OK. Now that those queries are loaded into Excel, we can right click on the data query and select load two. And let's load this as a pivot table report on an existing worksheet and we want to put that in cell L5. And now let's create our pivot table. We'll put the value column in the value section and the item column in the rows section. All that's left to do is to add our slicer. So I'm going to select insert slicer and this time we want the region PQ sorted column. And that's it, we now have our slicer sorted in the order that we want. 
And that's it. That's how we can sort slicer buttons without using custom lists, which when shared, they don't work, and also not having to deal with the complexity of the data model. If you like this video, then click there. That's another awesome video that I think you'll enjoy. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.